All right, welcome back to Haifudi, our Explorers Watcha. Uh, it's been a while, longer than I had hoped, but glad to be returning to this series. So, we are now in Watcha 24, and with that comes some new features. I think probably the, the most major of those new features are the text to ARP capabilities and a new oscillator type. So I thought maybe we'll start by exploring that new oscillator. Um, so I'll just make um, I'll just make an ambient generator. So, Macro Oscillator 2. It seems pretty interesting. Um, you can't see this, unfortunately, but it has 15 oscillator types. It has a pair of classic waveforms, wave shaping oscillator, two operator FM, granular formant oscillator, harmonic oscillator, wavetable oscillator, chords, vowel and speech synthesis, granular cloud, filtered noise, particle noise, inharmonic string modeling, modal resonator, analog bass drum model, analog snare drum, and analog hi-hat. So I think I've only played around with granular cloud maybe? Maybe it was granular format oscillator. Let me see. I'm gonna solo this. No, I think it was I think it was granular cloud. Um I think we should probably bring the pitch up a bit. For some reason it seems like I'm always recording while my dishwasher is running. I only run my dishwasher every couple days, <laughs> but for some reason I'm always recording when it's running. I don't know why. You can get some pretty varied results with this. When I had played around with it before, I had made this sort of staticky cloud.
I kind of liked the way it fit with what else was going on in this track. could use a little bit of an auto sweep here. Just a pretty, pretty small one. Something like that to give it a little bit of variation. Could use an LFO on the resonance. Not sure how well this is coming through. Hopefully, you're able to hear it. It is on the quieter side. Let's see how that is with everything else. It's 
a little, a little too loud. I really like how it, it's, it seems like it really suddenly cuts out. Maybe I should just leave it like this and I can, don't know, I don't know how the level here and the value here interacts if they basically do the same thing or I'm not sure. pretty good. Um, now, the text to music slash text to ARP, uh, something I have never used in Watcha. Um, but I did, I, I was playing around with it for a bit, so I think I have a rough understanding of how it works and how kind of the the benefits of using it so if I bring this in I don't know if I'll end up using this in the the track itself but um, Just get a particle. kind of wobbly drone um, okay I guess I, I should bring this up enough so you can actually hear a sequence Oh, wow. 
wow. That's really nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, yeah, I'll put a compressor on here. I, I was just pulling this up to uh, <laughs> to show the text to music system, but that's that's quite nice. Um, so here we go. So this is in custom mode right now. So in this case, I can put in whatever text I want, and that will determine the sequence used for this generator. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, what I, what I did uh, when I was playing around with it before was I just put in something from the blockhead manual. I'll just put in something from the glossary. And then you can control set the sort of rules for the sequence here. You can you can see up here it's probably quite small but um, the sequence that will be used not the actual notes but like the the sequence of notes and rests or gaps which you can control here and then you can control the length the length of each phrase that gets divided by the gaps here. Um, so that's that's in custom mode. You can also use the cut up, which is this. And this is something I, I spent a little while figuring out. Um, you can see here actually it's it's using um, it's using words from the blockhead manual because I have it set to the um, to use the user library and the, I just filled the user library with the 
glossary section of the Blockhead Manual. Um, so basically, you can you can define the library of words that it will use, and or so you, you can just type in what what you want, but to have it randomly generate these phrases you can set the words in the user library you can use or edit the general library which is this is what it starts with uh, there's also there's also the watch a library which I don't know if there's a way sure if there's a way to view or edit that there's probably not a way to edit it in any case there might be some way to view it but I'm not sure um, and then there are also these sources which you can switch between I don't oops. I believe I saw how to saw something more about the sources in the manual, but I don't remember exactly how to do it. Uh, you can set the the phrase structure here. So like if you set it to 575, it's five words, seven words, five words. Um, or, you know, whatever, whatever you want, 3210. Two, one, oh, one. Um, and then you can have it so let me switch back to the, this this page um, instead of using the custom text that you just input for the generator you can have you can set it to a specific line from the cut up or you can have the line number set to the track number. So I believe each one of these rows is a track. So since this is the fourth row, it would be using the fourth line, which is empty in this case, I guess, because yeah, so if we switch this to something else like this, it's using the fourth line of the cut up oh whoops <laughs> I didn't mean for that to be on yet um, so the the power of this from what I've seen anyway is what I just turned off which is you can come here and have the the text in the cut up change after a certain number of seconds and so I, I had it set quite low because I was just testing it out but you could set it longer you can set it very long to a thousand seconds oh well, actually it's so it'd be a thousand seconds plus or minus a thousand seconds um, but you can you can use this and these settings here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this does. Um, but you can use this to control which libraries it pulls from and then this to control the balance between those libraries and sources and then it will just every so often randomize this and change the sequence that's currently being used and if you're if you have it on the line equals track number uh, then if you have text and music generators on a bunch of different tracks it's going to be changing the sequences for all of them it's pretty cool
Uh, and it also allows you to, you know, you, you can use text of some significance to, to control that. Um, which is, it's just kind of a, a cool thing. Um, so I think this is, yeah, it's text to music. It's, oh, can I switch? Yes, yeah, so I can switch to ARP. It's gonna be kind of hard to tell with this synth. Let me switch to, Very slow. Hmm. So this giving an uh, a choice between text to music and scale rule makes me wonder if text to music can go outside of the scale rule. I'm not sure about that though. Um, is there some way I can... Uh, rhythm rule. Oh no. Oh wait. Oh, that changed. Okay, uh, let me. Switch this back and switch to. Fast plane. Still pretty slow, but it is 60 BPM, so. Oh yeah, see so I think it just it just changed this cuz you heard the the sequence change. Well. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, it's some, something I'll, I'll need to dig into in the manual because I, I'm not familiar enough with the text to music to be able to tell how
To, to tell how uh, the pattern generated by the text to music differs from text to art. It clearly is different, though it has, uh, using the same notes, uh, it's, it's generally using the same notes it seems, but it is different, but I'm not exactly sure how. I don't know if you're even able to hear this. It was kind of quiet. Yeah, so with the longer, longer phrase, it is more, um, it is more ARP-like. It's the intervals between notes generated by the sequence or by, I'm not sure. It's another, I, I Watcha is like uh, an ice, iceberg. Um, it's just, you know, like I've been playing around with it sort of casually for two and a half years or something like that. And it's like, I, I had never explored this whole system, the text-to-music system, which I know... Uh-oh. Did my recording break? Oh, okay. I think it's fine. <laughs> Streamlabs just froze. Um, you know, I've been casually playing around with it for a while now, but... Yeah, I didn't had never explored this whole system and oh let me bring the tempo back down and yeah it was it was crazy when I was first exploring it and it was just like it, it gets deeper and deeper and deeper with all the libraries and, and sources and rules randomization and there's yeah there's also this the end of line rhyme which I'm not even sure how I, I don't know how the text-to-music system transforms text into music, so I'm not sure of what the significance of something rhyming is. Like, I don't know if a word rhymes with another word. Yeah, like, okay, let's say you had a text-to-music generator in each track, and you had them all on the line the cut up line equals the track number um if they're rhyming then will the sequences generated by uh the generators on tracks one and three will they have some similarities i'm not sure i would guess probably because i'm not really sure what the function of this would be otherwise but yeah it's it's really crazy how, how deep this goes and I, I still like have not even begun to crack it really but it's pretty cool and uh, yeah I'll, I'll definitely be working with it more in future videos I'll, I'll have to come up with some better text to put in it I'm not really sure what what to do for that yet but uh, I believe there's also text-to-speech. Um, I, I 
I saw it mentioned in the manual in the text to music section. I don't even, I don't know how, how to get to that. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot more to explore in it. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get to that in the future. Well, thanks for watching. And hopefully I will be able to continue this series with more regularity. See ya.